Hey guys, this one's going to be about the directory submitter. So first of all, we'll load the default profile, and we'll just go across the, to the directory submitter tab. The first tab is the directory info. So what I want to do is come up with some various different titles for the different directories we'll be submitting to. So obviously you don't want to have the exact same title in each directory because then it starts looking in lies for Google a bit spammy. So we'll add some spin tax code in here. And for those of you who are still a little unsure about the spin tax coding, I will be adding a little write up to this in one of the sections in the website. So you don't get confused by it. It's very simple once you get the hang of it. Uh, we're just filling in the fields again as usual. Uh, in the URL field, you want your main site, the main site that you're after promoting. The, some people call it the money site. So in this example, it was example.com. The keywords are the keywords you have to rank them for. So this one would be keyword one and keyword two. to get rid of the spaces between the commas. You can put negative keywords if you want. Uh, this just helps the directory determine what your website isn't about. Therefore, de helping it determine what it is about. Bit of a mouthful. Uh, okay, category one. Generally, within your fields, you should know the category. So, for example, if you're trying to promote a ebook on health and fitness, obviously the main category would be health, uh, the second one you could probably put fitness in, third one would be I don't know weight loss and the fourth one could be uh, getting slimming. So really you're just looking for generic categories and it'll try and get the first one or the first, well the first sort of category it can find, it'll pick. Then we'll just go along. Uh, usually I just leave custom one, two, and three blank. And we'll just go straight to the submitter tab, load up the directories, make sure the threads are set to hidden, uh, capture, auto. And I'll just select a few of them. Sign up, submit, and then just check the mail. Obviously, as you know from the first few videos, uh, it is just a sort of demo account I've set up, so they won't really be working as the email doesn't exist. But it's just a good way of showing you how this part of the program actually works. So I'll just wait for the websites to load. In terms of threads, you can up the threads to as much as your computer can handle. Uh, SICK tends to be very in a very invasive program so it'll use the copy and paste function and often click elsewhere so if you're trying to do other things on the computer it's usually not advised because you could become very frustrated very quickly Um tend to use this just on a separate PC Okay, I'll just stop that there because it is taking a little while on that last link. But as you can see, it's submitted three of my links in the directory info. So this website, it's submitted to three of the directories of the four selected under the category health. You'll notice in this one you don't really get output URL, but that's nothing to worry about because most directories are indexed quite often by Google anyway so your link will generally just come up over time 
and that's all there is to the directory submitter. The next video is going to be on article submission. Hey guys, um, this one's going to be about article submitter. So we'll literally load up your profile again and we'll just click through to the article submitter tab. Now in this instance we won't really want to add spin tax in the title because ideally you want the title to be posted the same on each one. You can add it however if you like, um, if you want a different title on each. But for the sake of this example, I'm just going to keep it keyword ever without spin tax. Summary, usually you will want to sp like spin it. Uh, so you'll need to add spin tax code into the summary. Um, generally try and go for a minimum of sort of 200 characters uh, some allow 160 some expect more than that you'll find out as you go it'll come up with a error code saying that the summary is too short if it is just add a few extra sentences on the end um, this And then we'll just add another syntax. And then we'll leave it there. So obviously that's pretty short. Next will just be the article body. So I've just prepared run document there. The resource box is probably your most important one. I hear a lot of people do sort of syntax, spin tax coding on the resource box as well. It just really, in my eyes, it depends on how many articles you're submitting to and depending on the way you're doing it, whether or not the articles are linking straight to your money site or linking to, say, another article on another website. I've seen quite a few strategies, um, but really I'll just show you how you do it. So usually you just add a href coding in so find out more about the best example keyword and if i wanted to make the best example keyword the anchor text i'd simply drop in this And then add the target equals some do accept the target blank code some don't uh, so sometimes it's just easier to that add the ahref and usually they will add it for you the example is my keyword and then obviously just the standard ones that i'll be typing in here Um, yeah, and then you have the spin options if you do have um, best the best spinner set up. And we'll just quickly cut through to the submitter tab. Load up just say article friendly for now. Um, probably want to go for one of the lesser ones, but you just tick them. Uh, register and check mail. Generally, the check mail option once again, like on previous ones, it's good to just go through to your article website and register on them all then wait a day or two for the activation emails to come through this way at least that you can submit to a lot more um, so first of all you tick register and check mail then you tick after a few days go past you'd say uh, come back to create profile and submit article and it's pretty much as simple as that um, to add spin tax to the coding, simply add the spin tax tags, then I can make it as short as that. And add the href at the front of it. Uh, 
and then at the back of it as well. Just notice I didn't fully fill in this field. Um, usually you'd put your keyword your keyword set to the same as your sort of anchor text keywords. That way you won't get confused either. Uh, you can save the article. I tend to do this. I just hit save and then I would name it example one article and then spoon as well. And then article successfully saved just in case I find more article websites in the future that I want to submit to. Then you just run through the submission process and that's the article tab sorted.